Sipinda sikuwa mkele nkobeli, usabu kele Kids News. Umklama shumama mabina nanyi, kwenye nga kafuwe bwari, kwenye nga 2018, nga kilichola kdala nga bemi beli. Kale kwa nga umklama waisa kwa nga mpwati suwe zmali, umnumza na malu usi kikika wa unjata yake, tata lwa biwa mali, wapengeza kwa ikhafu kwa kulumente, ife ilu edit text, kwenye nga semzi, nisa kunyuka nga umnyinge wa 1%, nga umklama kala kwenye nga April. Le kafu ke mbuke ili bifadula, iye 14%, nga kwa nga uko, inyuka isi yako 15%. Ezi pengeza kwa sali tumeli nga upiyo ke kubani nita baninzi, kubawa Incha ke ubomu na bandwa na batu kwa kile batu kapazile kile Inta atelie tuke upapa machanga na dube Uke angola na bandwa na kuwa izi mfwa zaabu nga lomba Hea utikina ke na kumsla zi wazo kotoosho kuwa kuwa kutuwa na kakunje Na nse nga lakwa la yombo kele Uhulu meni utate isi ngu moso guti Atate anyuse izi nga lentela Isuke la kwe sisipenge zoke le ngokolo ipanlapa Uko nyuswa kwe khafu kakulumende i VAT ukocho Ngomjinge we 1% kuteta uchincho kwimbilo ebesi ipila Yinto nina le VAT ebangele olu mungu palu VAT is value added tax which means that every year you have to pay more money to the government. If that, it's like when every year the price increases, like petrol, it increases about maybe one rand or more. Kungu kunche abafundi bati, bane kala loko ngechiswa kwe mali abati ba ipiwe nga bazali. Now that uh, VAT is, going, is increasing, it's so sad because my mother doesn't work and I only have um, maybe only 10 rand on Wednesday, so now that it's increasing, only my sister is going to give me five rand and lunch to on Fridays. My parents normally give me allowance, so now that that is in, like the it's increasing, I can't save more because my parents would say, okay, it's fine this month, I can't give you money because this is increasing and I have to buy this for the house. Our parents are having arguments because there's, um, they don't get paid enough money and first we used to buy two loaves of bread, then we, then we bought one loaf of bread and we can't handle it because the budget uh, is low. That they shouldn't increase food because they should worry about people at home, like our mom. It's like my birthday is coming up and my mom won't take us out like every year that she used to, so they just need to think about it. Ukandi pai nungu msaluki wezo kukosho, uyika kise li khafu wenje nji. Ive tiki value ede tax, ikhafu e ti umdunga amnye, Esenza na ndoni na noba mshambi u produce service o ganye ungu mdo tunga ayo tengsai. Uba nje kukona lukwa ongeza e-value, then upata le e-value added tax. So VAT ipata na umdo wanga mshambi mfama. Utu mfama ata ulima, ata uvuna, ayo tingisa e marketing. Funega faki VAT klondo. Ima likele ati ya upata lwa kuye, ayo niki kulumendi. Ukulumendeke uzamile ukubonele la ulundu inga kumbi ololo nga tatindu eni ngokuti le khafu inga kutapazili ukutia ukungundoko ululushuke lukutia lubizwa ngokuba zero rated items ngukwesilungu. Ululushuke kungabalulua umbona iraiz, imbuji, imifuno, izikamo amafuta okupheka ubisi ukuyakutsho kumaqanda kodwa ke xa kufikwa kwezinye izinto ezifana namafuta wezithuthi impahla kwanokutya okungekho kululuhlu silukhanganyileyo abantu basaza kuchaphazeleka Noko kunjalo ukulumende ubenzelelele abo bakamla kusibonelelo sika kulumende. Ikrandi zona ziza unyoka kabini glonyaka sibonu baku za unyoka nguku. Ngo April spindi zinyuke na ngo October, September, October. Kuba iza mkulumende ba angatisana na ababa angi atati ndue ni kakul kakul. Ika kulu kuba kisibonu ba amakabeswa maninzi ayanyoka ngo unyoka. 
uza kufuneka ke mzansi sizame ukuzi puli sanga njela zonge ukuze na kubeni sitapazele kanje kodwa ubomi bukubeke wena ufundayo ubengati uyakiniseka apa ezi nwadini kandinawe osebenzayo ulipate kakuhle elotoho ngandlela zonke sizame nokonga imali ukulungisele la mshange ngaki ukumbuleke mbukele ukuba liba kona noko ilita na sisi toko tokwe nisobu mnyama li tutuma li thule kuindabaze SAPC ndingu papa machanga na tube e khautini oko kwa teto kwa mba kabisa wezi nesifa mkuzi tenga njenge mbasa za kinyuka kuchoke kinyanzelega kwa asbo pibante kuza skwazo kipila apata za smali ke mbukeli matina kubena mba kabisa za kinyuka kwa da kea teto kwa siye kukongi mali kwa legi ilega lo kwa sali sikinitaybo ukulung sali ilo mshange ngake umbuzo kengo kumile utisa kwa sina kongi mali takunje ukupenda lombo uyo sinmeme umnumza anu cheraldi mwandi ambira usuka kwa South African Savings Institute kwa stopi sanga lomba aga ambi eto wake ukona no tajwa mwandi ambira one minyake litowa no wongi mali kukubi kukuse na ya kaza kusimuni sanga nchele so kongi mali guys welcome to Kizin thank you for joining us thank you very much so you're coming from the South African Savings Institute now before we proceed could you please just tell us what the institute is all about the South African Savings Institute is a non-profit organization which promotes savings and investment in South Africa. So our mandate is to go out and get South Africans to save and invest more. And we work together with National Treasury, um, various financial institutions and other and non-governmental organizations okay. to promote savings. So what does it mean to be financially savvy and why is it important that we save? It's important to save because we are not in control of what happens tomorrow. And mm. if you do not have a saving safety net, life can become very difficult. Okay, also, when the country is saving, what we do is we create a deposit base which our financial institutions can use to lend out money and to grow our economy. So savings is a very important part of every South African's life, which we try and promote so that we realize that we can't just live and, and, and consume everything that we get every day. Okay, so um, on, on the, the recently the former Minister of Finance announced that the VAT will be increasing by 1% from the 1st of April. So is it still for, possible for us to save in these trying times? Look, saving involves three words. Um, it's called sacrifice, commitment, and discipline. And you need those three things to save. Yes, things are getting harder, but all I can say to you is if you were to lose your job today, and you didn't have savings, would you be better off or worse off? And that's really the bottom line. Yeah. It's not easy to save. And I don't think I want to send a message out there that it's easy to save. But yeah. if you start saving young, if you start saving early and you apply sacrifice, commitment and discipline, everyone is can save. Because there's someone out there who's got no income to save at all. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, Tadua, um, before we proceed, could you please just briefly like introduce yourself to the viewers, your name and, and all that? My name is Tadiwa Nashe. My son name is Mandi Ambera. I like playing the violin. It calms me down when I have tough situations. Uh, I'm told that when it comes to saving, you could teach me a thing or two. So why is it important that we save? It's important to save because if you weren't saving, you wouldn't have a good lifestyle. You wouldn't be able to live properly. Yeah, so it's important that we save. So tell us who taught you how to save and what are you going to do with your savings or what do you usually do with your savings when you have money at home? My father taught me how to save and the money that I have at home for savings, I'm trying to save up to buy me a new violin. Wow, that's amazing. So could you please like enlighten us more about like other ways of saving that are interest free? Well, there's lots of different types of saving. Um, Essentially, every child, for example, should have yeah. a tax-free savings account. So if there's young people watching, they should ask their parents to open a tax-free savings account where they put money in there. The mm -hmm. nice thing about a tax-free savings account is that that money, it grows tax-free. So yeah, it means that it tax, grows yeah. much quicker. And for example, if you start saving the maximum 2,750 rand up to the maximum annual amount of 33,000 and you open an account when a child is born, when that child is 15, that account will have 1.74 million rand at a 15% return. Wow. Simple as that. Yeah, and that's a parent cool. investing in a child. That money can be used for future, future university or you can give it to the child as a gift. So the basics of saving are that there are four principles and the, the Tadiwa will explain. Explain the four principles and the four piggy banks. 
Uh, so the first piggy bank is savings. You can have more than one savings pig if you're saving for a lot of things. Oh, okay. So I'm saving for a new violin. The second pig is for poor people and orphans. The third pig is for God and Jesus. The fourth pig is investment. The money I put into this pig, my parents will double it on my birthday. Wow. Okay. So, 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 so what she's explained is the four principles of money. Yeah. The savings pig is really saying that everybody should have a goal. So in life, you need to save towards goals. Yeah, exactly. The second pick she explained is that we all forget that we're more fortunate than others. Just like you're saying, it's so hard to save. Yeah, you yeah. can save because you have an income. Someone else out there doesn't have. Doesn't have so you income, need yeah. to look after the less fortunate. The third pick she explained was really around, you know, having a faith-based giving. Because it's important, especially if a child starts doing it. Yeah. And she'll explain what percentage do you give? 10%, that is one rand. Okay, so if, yeah. so if she has 10 rand, she gives yeah, one rand, which is 10%. Wow, Explain what you do with your 10 rand. So the, the 10 rand that I have, I take 10% away from it, and that's one rand. And then I put it into the garden, Jesus' pig. And for my savings pig, I put 2%, and then I'm left with... You put 2 rand, and then you're left with 7 rand. I'm left with 7, seven rand. rand yeah. And then... For my orphans, I put three rand, and then, and then I'm left with two rand. And with my investment pig, I put two rand, I mean one rand, and then I'm left with one rand to spend. So how should parents teach their, their children to, to, to spend responsibly? And at what age can a child model good money-saving habits? Well, initially, you need to get a money box for a child as soon as they are born so that they just get used to putting money. It's fun to put money into that little slot. But once the child can count, you can start teaching them the principles. Tadio is eight years old, yeah. and she needs to start understanding the principles. In life, you will save in one season. In another season, you're investing. In another season, you're basically giving. And basically what happens is when these pigs are all full, you then take the child to the bank, and then they now understand they get a bank account and a bank card. Suddenly, your child will also start understanding that that card is not magic. The one yeah. you use is money you yeah. took to the bank. <laughs> yeah. So I often hear people talking about um, a savey saver and a more Nick Jack spender. So what is, what, is the, what is the meaning of this jargon in, in simple terms? Which is the? Uh, a savey saver and a more Nick Jack okay. spender. Well, a savey saver is really somebody who understands the importance of saving okay. and 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 saving allows you to be in a situation in life where you can always buy the things you need when you need them okay now also when you're a money jack spender it's also another way of trying to interpret you saying that you are very keen on putting money together for investment so these are principles which young people need to have okay. the only sad part is is okay, that so, um, so I, I think, okay, I think we we're running out of time. But uh, last question for you. I understand that South African Saving Institute has like um, uh, uh, campaigns in place to help people know more about saving. Could you please tell us more about that? And for last question, Tadua, can you please like, if you have like uh, advice for kids that are watching at home that would also like to start saving, like what ways do you have for them? But we'll start with the, with the father. Okay, well, so South African Savings Institute, we have July Savings Month, which is the month the whole country talks about saving. Yeah. We have a festive season campaign and we have a youth savings campaign in June. So for the young viewers that are watching, to start saving. So when you get money and, you, and you're saving for something, rather just save it and put it into your piggy bank and when you get older, you'll see the piggy, bands, piggy bank starts getting fuller. So thank you so much for joining us. This has been a very productive interview. I hope our viewers have learned a thing or two about saving.